Good morning, everyone. It's Christy, and it is time for Tech Time today. And I decided today, after a lot of deep thought, um, that I would show you guys a website that most people don't take advantage of or use in our industry, and it is the Supra eKey website. What? Did you guys know that Super has a whole website that you can use for benefits for your sellers to see reports, for you to understand your Super key box, and to make things much easier for you? So let's go take a look at the Supra website. All right. <clears throat> you will actually log in to the Supra by going to Supra eKey. And it will be the first one, Supra eKey. Now, if you've never logged on before, you'll want to make sure that you actually log in with your username with a username and password. You will have to set that up. But if you do have one, you will go up to the Supra Web Agent Login, and it will come to this screen. A new user, you'll want to register down here. You'll create your account. But I'm going to go ahead and log in. It will bring you to a screen that looks like this. This is the super web screen. Now there's quite a few things on this screen, so I'm gonna go through them. First is your home screen, which is the screen itself, a listing screen, reports, settings, billing, and support. Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna go up here and click on my name. This is actually my account setting. My board is Georgia MLS. My login, I can update my login settings. 
my serial number, this is actually your E key number. When you get your E key with FMLS or Georgia MLS, you'll actually have a key number. I have a basic type of key. And my device and version is not available because I have it on my phone. Now, if you actually have the key itself, you will have to have a device and a version type. Down here is my key settings. I can actually generalize my email and I'll show you that. This is my general email address. On here, please make sure that you go in and you um, make this personalized. You can see here that I have my personal email signature that it also has send me beginning and estimated ending of showing notifications. You can actually set this up. Uh, feedback emails, send me an email when another agent sends feedback on my listings. Now, let's say you're part of a team. This is great information. You can actually CC another person on this. Reminders, remind me by email to send feedback on my listings or enable listing assignments for email reminders. Now. For instance, if I show a listing, this actually reminds me to show feedback on that listing and allow listing agents to send me update emails on listings I have shown. Now, I have this unclicked because I have it set in my showing time to show through showing time. However, if I have shown specific listings, you can click on that. If there is a price reduction, it can actually show you price reductions through Supra. I have my picture uploaded. And I also have my personalized text, uh, the text signature that comes up there again. I'm going to hit save. And this again is going to take me back to my email settings and I'm going to go back to my settings page and then I'm going to go up here and click my name. It's going to take me back to the, to the account settings page. Here is e key showings. I can figure the days of activities on my e key. Select the number of days worth of showing activity you would like to appear on your e key. Standard is going to be three. You can go all the way back to seven. This is privacy settings. I can set options on sharing my personal information, which is good to know. And this says I can share my personal information with the vendor. That is completely up to you. All right, so this is everything under my personal settings. Let's go back to home and let's talk a little bit about what this is. Now, the great thing about the showing dashboard is, and one of the great features with Supra and why it's wonderful to use a Supra key box is that you can actually see everyone that's gone into the home. Okay, that if you use your Supra key box. Now, this looks a little bit like a conglomerated mess. Yes, I understand that. So let's talk about how we can coordinate this a little bit better. All right. So up here, you'll see some quick links on the left hand side. This with the quick links, you can update your code. Let's say for some reason you got locked out of your key box and you cannot get back in or you cannot update your code. Maybe you're in a, a spot where you don't have very good wireless service, but you have a computer. I know that's a little far fetched, but it happens. You can actually get a code updated from here. Uh, identify your key holder. Authorization code. You can change your pin number, which is the number you type in to open key boxes. E key alerts, you can add a key box and you can assign your listings. Like all of my key boxes are in here, so I can actually assign a key box to a specific listing and I connect, can connect on Facebook, okay? But before we go through all those links, let's talk about all the different um, drop downs up top. If I click on listings, this says that there's no listings assigned in your inventory, which is correct because when I have um, sold property, I have unconnected the listings from my inventory. So at this time, there are no key boxes associated with any listings on any inventory. Reports, I can actually create a showing report or create a key box report from any of my key boxes or any of my listings. So let's say I wanted to create a report. I can pick a specific key box or I could pick a specific MLS number. Well, let's say I wanted to pick, to pick a specific key box. And I wanted to go, since these sold, back from July 1st to August 1st. Oh, womp womp. There was nothing that showed between July 1st and August 1st. So let's go back again. 
Maybe let's pick a different key box and see if there was anything. Wow, look at that, there was. So this can tell you that on this listing, this key box number, Mark Keels, Brittany Tony, Mathia Elliott, Mathia Elliott, and myself showed this listing, which I can tell you this listing was 1195 Highway 213. And this is telling you the date and time. Now, because I've un, um, un, um, uh, associated it with a listing, you will not see the listing ID or address. However, if it was still associated with that listing, the listing ID and address would come up. The great thing within the system, I can click on their email through the system and send them an email. If you have it connected with your system and you can't see it because you're connected to the super system, but the email box popped up so that I could send them an email directly on my screen and ask them, hey, saw that you showed such and such a listing at this time on this date. Okay. Those are, that's how you do a report. And the same thing would happen if you create a key activity report, it would come up the same way. You would just select the, select the date range. You could also download this as a CSV file you could view the results. The great thing is, this is also a report that you can send directly to your sellers to show them the different key box activities. Let's take a look at settings. Now, this is what we looked at before under my name. This is how you can update your personal account settings. Billing, most of our billing goes through the MLS system, so you don't have to worry about this, um, but your billing is your system on how you pay. If you have your key box on your phone, as I do, you actually get a bill every single month for I think $15.81 or something like that. And mine is already set up. And then this is your account balance, your billing history, your account information. And just to let you guys know, you do know you can write this off on your taxes each year because this is part of your um, uh, write-offs for your business and support if you need any support from Supra. All right, well, let's see some other awesome things that you can do from this website besides just this. Now, if you're on your home screen and you can see Brian Spradlin went into my listing, you obviously see his information. If you click on this little house, I can actually look at the MLS number. Now granted this listing sold on Friday. If it was still in here, or let's say it was still available, I could assign this listing to an MLS. So let's say that you haven't assigned your lock boxes to MLSs. You could assign your lock box right here to a specific listing you have, and you can upload all of that information for that listing into Supra, which means every single time someone goes into that listing, you have the option of being able to see it. You can add a key box through here and you can actually um, be very uh, proactive in knowing when those listings are visited, gone in and out of. You can see here, here are my key boxes that I have. I actually have one other one that I have to put in here. Here are the shackle codes, the CBS codes, and you can see on this home, I'd actually put the CBS code as required because the seller asked me to. I can go in here and I can change the settings on each of those. Did you know you could do that? You can actually make a listing in here and you can send individual notifications in here. Here are your key box settings and your battery occupancy. It's very important to pay attention to your battery occupancy because if your battery gets too low, it'll stop opening. Here's where I can add a key box, assign a key box. I can delete this key box from my inventory or I can assign it to a specific listing. Some of the other great things is you can actually order 
super accessories online here. If you need specific uh, cable chargers, if you have a um, one of the actual key fobs that you need to plug in, if you need an eye box, which is what we have, you know, the big blue boxes, you can actually order those as well. They're a little on the pricey side, of course, uh, but you can also get them from uh, MLS. Now, eKey Alerts. This has that if I need any eKey Alerts, these come directly to my email. Now, this is a great opportunity if you're on a team to have eKey Alerts to go to multiple people. Or let's say you have an assistant and you have an eKey Alert. You can have that eKey Alert go to your assistant as well. Therefore, you know you will never miss anything that comes up from one of your listings. So let's look at adding a key box. All right, so on your key boxes, does anyone know where your serial number is on one of your super key boxes? All right, well, I am going to unshare. I'm gonna stop sharing and we're gonna learn a little bit about key box here. All right, so on the side of your super key box, there's a serial number, okay? That is actually your super key box. So if anyone asks you what your key box number, that is actually your key box number. You do not have to, you, this is your, what's called your eye. Your eye will blink when you push up the bottom of your key box. Do you see it blink? That means that you have enabled the Bluetooth. You do not have to have your phone close to it to open the Bluetooth. Now I will show you. On mine, my Super Key Box is right there. See the little blue box? So I'm gonna press it, if I can press it and it'll show you. So there's mine. You have to make sure the light's blinking when you want to open the key box. You will put in your code and it will blink. The bottom of the box will open. This is typically where your key will be. There is no key. But you'll also see on the back, it says do not put a key here. If you can see the little do not put a key here sign. Because if you do, you can't get the key box back up inside. Now, there is only one way to put the key box in. So don't feel freaked out that you can't get it back in the other way. All right. Now, that is obtaining a key. If you have to put a shackle or open a shackle to put it on the door, this is the top part is what they call a shackle. To open the shackle, it's the little blue box here. My shackle code on my key boxes are all the same. You can actually change those through the system. So don't freak out if you, if you buy a box and you've got to change the shackle code. You can actually go in and reassign shackle codes to your boxes it will come with one. It's gonna ask you a reason. What is the reason here? The reasons are, do you want to add a new listing, remove a new listing, relocate on the same listing, or none of the above? And I'm gonna put none of the above, okay? The next question comes up and says, do you wanna add it to your inventory? I'm gonna say yes, we're gonna add it to my inventory, which means when I go into my Supra online, you're gonna be able to see it. And then I click begin. Now, there again, I need to make sure I've pushed up on the bottom and the little light's blinking, because if not, it's not gonna connect. You'll hear it connecting. It goes doo 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 doo. Push down, pull up. The whole shackle will come off. Then you can put it on your door. Here's what's super cool. Do you see all of this information that came up on my, key, on my phone or you will also see it on your computer. This is where you can actually reprogram your, your key box if you'd like. It has, there again, the battery level. It has your shackle code. It has, do you wanna require the CBS code? Now we'll tell you, CBS codes are very important because when you have inspectors that come to your house, they have very different key boxes than we do. 
or different uh, super code, super uh, keys than we do. I'll get it out in just a second, guys. Their super keys have to have CBS codes to get in lock boxes. They are not just like real estate agents. They have to be able to get a code to get in a house. So they just can't go up and go in homes like we can. So they will ask for a CBS code to get approval to get into a house. So you will need to go into each lock box to be able to see your CBS code. How do you do that, you say? If you look on your phone, you can see where it says the key box. You can actually look at your inventory of key boxes. I just added 57 to mine. So I can go on and look at 57 and I can go on and say, oh, look, my key box, this key box right here. And I can see the CBS code is 84588846. Okay. And I can tell, I can also go back in and change this information where I can then require that the CBS code, even by agents has to be used. Let's say like I had a seller who was very particular and wanted to make sure that no agent came up to the house and could just go in and not make an appointment. And some agents do that, whether you have a seller there or not. So in that way, they would go up to the house and try to go in. Well, it would come up a, a message that said a CBS code is required. So they would have to call and make sure they got the CBS code for me. So that's very interesting. So I can go in now that we've done this and you guys have seen it on your phone, which is super great. I'll go back home. I'm now going to share my screen with you again. All right, now I'm gonna go back in. My uh, key box serial number is the one, the big one I, on the side I showed you, 313-93157. Oh, and it didn't come up, 313-9157. And my shackle code number, there it is. Boop. And I'm just gonna add the key box, okay? Oh, adding error, adding key box to inventory. The key box does not, um, the key box serial number does not exist. Three, one, three, nine. That was because I forgot a three, nine, seven. Okay, do you read this? This is the one we just added uh, per my phone. The key box is already assigned to you. Awesome. So I'm gonna go right here and look at key boxes. Bam, there it is. How cool is that? So do you guys see why it could be very vital to be able to have this to be able to go on and I can print reports and you can see your little key at the bottom, delete from inventory, showing activity. And of course I don't have any assigned so I can't see any showing activity. Pending program requests, settings, email showing agents and assigned to an MLS. This is a great opportunity to really make another step that you can do to help your sellers and yourself make showing so much easier with a little bit of technology. So guys, I hope this simple instruction on what you guys can do uh, to make it easier for Supra and to make your listing uh, for uh, your sellers a little bit less cumbersome. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you next week.